Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today we are going to sublimate a full wrap design using the Cricut Mug Press. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so let's go over the supplies that I'm using today. So I'm using a Cricut coffee mug. Today I'm doing the 12 ounce. You could definitely do a 15 ounce with this design right here, when you go to download it, there is one for the, um, it says 11 ounce, but it's the same as the 12 ounce. You have the 11 ounce as well as the 15 ounce. So you can download whichever one you want to use, and then you can print them out with your Sawgrass or your Epson printer. So I've got my coffee mug here. I've got some heat resistant tape. I'm using my cute little donut today. And then I've got a lint-free cloth. So this is just an eyeglass cloth that I use to clean off any sort of oil or debris. I've got a pair of tweezers. So that way, if I want to remove this hot, I can definitely do so. And then today, we are going to be using the Cricut Mug Press today. So I've got this here. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already printed off my super duper cute design, as you guys can see here. Now, the way that this is, it's kind of raggedy on the edges, so you don't have to go you know, all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. So it's just absolutely perfect. So I've got my design here, so let's go ahead and get ready. Step one, we wanna go ahead and remove any sort of oil or debris from our mug. You can use some rubbing alcohol if you would like. And then we're gonna take some of that heat resistant tape here. I'm using the Cricut brand. I have all of these supplies linked down below. And I know you guys are so curious about my tape dispensers. I've always got such fun ones, as you guys say. Um, I'm using this little donut one and it's from Amazon and I'll have it linked down below if I can. So I've got two pieces of tape is what I'm gonna need here. All right, so one for each side. And I may have made these a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I'm just gonna stick those on the side here so I can grab them. All right, so what we're gonna do here is you want to take your design, since this is a full wrap, we're gonna center it. This bunny is just so adorable, isn't it? So we're gonna go ahead and center this from the top and the bottom, but also the side to side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my handle here, as you guys can see here, and I'm just making some adjustments until I feel like this is absolutely centered. Once I'm happy with it, we're gonna start by taping down one side to the next. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this side over here. And we're just gonna go ahead and tape. So I can run that tape down the side if I want to. So we're just gonna smooth that out. And now what's important here is you want to pull this nice and tight. So that's what's important. You want it nice and tight. This is what's going to help with that pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and run that tape once again. I may need to adjust, I kind of got off center here. So let me go ahead and run our tape right down here. Hold on to one second, guys, so I can get my tape. Anybody else ever fuss with their tape? I'm gonna go ahead and pull tight just to be safe. One more time, I'm gonna start from the center and work my way out. All right, there we go. So I can go ahead and fold that over. So you just need to tape down both sides. Now, when I first started using my mug press, I would actually use um, some parchment paper to protect my mug press, but I have found that nothing usually comes through here. I haven't had any issues, not even usually, but nothing for me. So now I just simply stick it in the mug press. So once you have this wrapped, you wanna make sure that there is no gaps on the top or the bottom, you're good to go. So now we're just simply going to center this guy up in our mug press like so, and then we're gonna press it. So the way that the Cricut mug press is designed is there is five little dots here, which means five minutes. Each dot is one minute. So as a minute passes, you're gonna get a new dot. So once it's one full minute, this dot's gonna light up, so on and so forth. So what's really cool about the Cricut mug press, I don't have to figure out what temp to set it at. I don't have to set my time or anything like that. It's already internally set for us. So we're gonna let this go until it beeps. All right, so now that we have beef, we are ready to go. You're just simply going to pop it open. We are going to pull it out and set it aside. Now, if you have your Cricut pad, I highly recommend that you use that. You wanna set it on something that is heat resistant. So you don't wanna tear up your countertops or anything like that. So this is the silicone pad that is heat resistant. That would help as well. But I just popped it down on a dish towel and you can do that as well. All right, to save us time, I'm actually gonna go ahead and peel it, but you do really wanna let this cool all the way down. This cup is 400 degrees. I do also highly recommend that you use heat, uh, heat resistant gloves. So we have some link down below that we recommend 
Um, so what we're going to do is just simply peel our tape here. And if you need to, like I said, you can use these little tweezers here. But look at how adorable this is. Let me go ahead and grab my other side very carefully. I think I can grab it like so. There we go. So I'm going to bring this up. Is this not adorable? I absolutely love this design. And this bunny is just so, so cute. Now, whenever it comes to um, pressing a mug, whether it's with your Cricut mug press or any sort of mug press, the mug usually stays um, nice and cool to the touch. Now, if you were using a convection oven, it would not. But if you're using a mug press, it will. But um, like I said, definitely be super careful. But look at those colors on this bunny. It's like shaded in um, with these grays. It's just so, so cute. Now, this would be really cute, too, to add somebody's little initials here, maybe on the side here to do like, um, you know, you can even write somebody's name real tiny or even like a date or something like that would be really cute. But I love this. I think it's absolutely darling. And there you guys have it. How super cute is this mug? This bunny right here is adorable. Now keep in mind with this design, you could even shrink this down by cutting off, uh, cropping out, if you will, the sides. And you could put this on a t-shirt, all sorts of different things. But I absolutely love the way that this came out. The bunny is just so, so cute. So keep in mind, if you guys recreate these projects, we want to see them. Use the hashtag design bundles so we could definitely check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.